Hello, my dears. My name is Joanna, and I welcome you to Johanna Takonis, the deconstruction of CPDS podcast. In this episode, we will talk about the two finest shapes of trauma, at least as far as I can see now. We will also update the sleeper trauma, as it has changed quite a bit. This belongs to my effort to categorize and organize PTSD, and trauma and PTS, so people are better informed of what they need and more tailored help can be organized. So let us talk about it. This is, for the time being, my last shape update. Next week we are getting into the stages, which trauma is mostly which stage and shape and the whole model explained. To be honest, I never thought I would need to do this, I thought someone already did. It would have been easier this way. But the fog of information and undefined descriptions really grinds my gears. Especially as this leads into a waste of sparse resources we have available for PTSD, as talked in episode 81. Once again, we go from simple to more complex shapes. We are in fact dealing with the two most complex shapes in this podcast. At least as far as I know. There will always be of course tweaking and updating, but the main roadmap is laid out. So let us get right into it. First, we're going to update the sleeper trauma. Then we're going to get into the new shapes of cluster trauma and sea urchin. Let us talk about the sleeper trauma that I will rename to suit trauma. The pancake sweet alternative stays untouched. The description mostly stays as something that barely has any symptoms but still poisons you, just more slowly. And similar to a suit, which why I refer to it this way now, you won't notice it causing issues, as you have been wearing it for such a long time, and it is so thin that you can barely see it if you are looking at your own shadow. It can be all covering your body or just a segment. It is created by many, many small moments. Death by a thousand cuts principle remains. Be it insults, gestures, names, bad treatment, and so on and the like. That all stays. But what it now adds, also a reason why I refer to it now as suit trauma, is that it is the perfect sticking ground for the other traumas. And they grow beautifully on it. One explanation could be that the body is so busy dealing with the poison from the suit that it has less resources for dealing with any new trauma. But that is a debate for another day. While it is not complicated to treat, it takes a very long time to do so. Second, let us get into the highest stage regarding PTSD in my opinion. But the second highest regarding trauma. I am referring to the cluster trauma, or, if we stick to our sweet alternatives, cotton candy. This trauma is massive in its shape and size. And, as the name cluster suggests, it is an accumulation of traumas ranging from small ball to big wing, while being surrounded by a fog sort of accompanying negative experiences and behaviors that formed around of it. A classic example for this would be many months, if not years, of regularly physical abuse. This cluster is a collection of many years of a high conflict atmosphere, where there was no proper treatment or possibility to deal with what was experienced. So this can also escalate from a wing trauma that is too long ignored or at least untreated. As this leads to unhealthy behavior which accumulates bad experience around it and often risky behavior that causes new traumas added to the cluster. These don't have to be full trauma. They can be smaller trauma experiences. This escalation usually doesn't happen from ball trauma as it is more easily contained and treated. Last, we get to the highest stage of trauma experience which I separate from PTSD for myself as it is so significantly different to the other trauma shapes and the experience is a leak of its own. I'm talking about PTS, the post-torture syndrome that was removed and placed under PTSD, something I strongly disagree with. While the other shapes are soft or round, this one is the complete opposite. It has spikes, which why I choose sea urchin for this one. 
in case anyone hasn't had a run in with these little bastards. They have the eye of Sauron, and when you come too close, they direct their long needly spikes toward your direction. Spikes break off easily and are difficult to remove, not to mention quite painful. This definition is, of course, also including the non-traditionally tortured people associated in the media. It is the hardest to handle and to treat. It is unlike any other, which is one of the reasons I want to specialize on it. I have to keep it simple for now, but I do plan to get into it in more detail. But for now, I have to leave it at that. Next week we get into the stages and put everything under one order. That was it for today's episode. I hope you found it helpful. Hope you are safe and well. And as always, if you have any questions or feedback and the like, please let me know at contactme at johannatakonis.com. More information and transcript you can find as usually under johannatakonis.com's podcast. Information regarding therapy you can find under johannatakonis.com's therapy. And links are in the description. Hope to see you next time. Watch yourself and have a wonderful time.